Good day, sir. I'm Jewelry M. Ramos, 19 years old. I'm currently studying at Pan Pacific University Tayug Campus, second year college, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. And this is my lesson plan for today. The objectives of my lesson plans are Identify the different sensory images found in the literary piece I am Filipino Accomplish many outputs and activities in utilizing sensory images and symbolism Lastly, clarify the different types of sensory images Before entering the room I'm going to get your temperature check and kindly sanitize your hands. Please maintain your social distancing to avoid the virus, okay? Polarize. Okay, sanitize your hands. Next. Okay. Go to your proper seat. Okay. Be quiet. Okay. Okay, be quiet please class, we're going to start. In order for me to speak clearly, I'm going to remove my mask. Please be quiet, be cooperative, and listen to me carefully. Okay class? Okay, thank you so much. Stand up, and Anna, please lead the prayer. Okay, thank you. Good morning, class. Okay, it seems like you're happy to see me again, huh? Okay, who's the answer for today? I'm going to check the attendance. Okay, present, 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 present. Okay. Yesterday, I dismissed early, and can anyone tell me what we discussed yesterday? Car, it's a literary piece, I am Filipino, and who wrote that piece? Anyone? It's Carlos P. Romolo. Thank you, Ruscha. Another one? Yes, then. It's all about sensory images. Okay, can anyone give me an example of sensory images? Okay, class, be quiet. Do not answer me in chorus. I will be choosing you individually. Vince, sense of sight. Amy, sense of hearing. Alex, sense of taste. Angel. Sense of touch and Bea. Sense of smell. Okay, great job everyone. It seems like you're ready for our next activity. I will be dividing you into four groups. And you will be determining the symbolic meaning of pictures that I will be giving to you. Okay, you go there. There as well. There. You go there. At the back. Okay, in front. Okay. So I will be distributing the handouts or the photos you'll be choosing. Group one. There you go. Group two. Okay. Group three. Group four. Okay. Class, you may now start determining the photos and please help your group mates to finish the activity fastly. I will be giving you five minutes to finish the activity.
Okay, group one, are you done? Give me the paper. Group two. Group three and group four. Now, go back to your proper seats. Group one. The coconut. It's the sense of taste. Very good because it's fresh buku juice. You're going to taste. It's refreshing. Okay, very good. Group two. It's the spear. Sense of touch. Because you're going to kill someone's dream. You're going to felt it. The spear, there's a sharp metal on his head. You're going to sense it. You're going to feel it. A sense of touch. Okay, group three. It's a picture of rose. A sense of... Okay, very good, Bea. Smell. Sense of smell. Because of its natural fragrance. And lastly, group four. It's a picture of dog. It refers to our sense of sight. Now, we saw the dog flap its wings. You saw it already and sense of sight. Now, be quiet and we were going to proceed to our next topic in our discussion. Very good, everyone. Go back to your proper seats now. Are you ready for our discussion? Okay, good. So listen carefully. Now, class, bring out your assignment because yesterday I told you to have advanced reading about nice Alex. It's symbolism. Thank you. Pass your notebook later and I will go in to check it. Okay, be quiet. Now, what is symbolism? Can anyone read it for me? Okay, Mark. Symbolism is the use of symbols to signify ideas and qualities by giving them symbolic meaning that are different from their literal sense. An event or a word spoken by someone may have a symbolic value. Okay, example. Can you please read? Anyone? Okay, Andre. Okay. Smile is a symbol of friendship. You're going to smile as always by having a friendship. Okay. If you're going to have a friendship, are you going to be mad as always? Of course not, diba? And lastly, smiles symbolism happiness. And if you're having a friends, a lot of friends, okay, it's you're happy because you have friends. <laughs> okay, thank you. Another example. Okay, and a broken mirror symbolizes. Separation. Okay, very good. How did you say that? Because the mirror broke apart. It's separation. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Next. Jonah. Okay. Black is a symbol that represents evil and death. Okay. That's very deep. Understanding, huh? Thank you so much, Jonah. Okay. Let's move on to our next topic. It's all about images or sensory images or imagery. Okay, class, can you see that hand up on the board? Okay, thank you. Can you please read what is sensory images or imagery? 
Okay, thank you so much, Anne. Sensory images or imagery means to use figurative language to represent objects, actions, and ideas in such a way that it appeals to our physical senses. Example, read it, Andrew. It was dark and dim in the forest. Thank you. Now, can you please explain where's the imagery beyond it? Okay. The word dark and dim are visual images. Okay, it refers to our sense of sight. Very good, everyone. Can you please give me an example of the imagery, Romel? Okay, thank you. He sniffed the aroma of brewed coffee. Sniff the aroma. Sense of? Okay, it refers to our sense of smell. Very good, Romel. Clap your hands, okay? Now, class, let's recall our discussion for today. Again, what is symbolism? Okay, class, I said again, quiet, quiet, quiet. Okay, symbolism. Very nice. How about sensory image or imagery? Okay. Clap ourselves, everyone. Can you please enumerate the five senses? Okay, very good. Sense of sight. Sense of hearing. Sense of taste. Sense of touch. And lastly, sense of smell. Very good, guys. Okay, can you please give me an example of symbolism? Okay, nice one, Belle. Okay? Before I end in class for today, I will be giving you assignments. Class, do this in your home when we're all done. Okay? Go back to your proper seats. Be quiet, and I'm going to explain what you're going to do with this. Your assignments for today is the apple. You're going to put the five senses, or you're going to apply the five senses in this figure. It's all about the apple. Okay? Do this. Apply what does it feel about the apple. How does it look like? What is the smell of the apple? How does it sound like? And what the apple tastes. Okay. We're all done for today. Clean all your stuff. Remove the sockets. Close the window and lock the door a while ago. Okay. Fall in line properly. Maintain your physical distancing, okay? And we're all done. Goodbye, class. Okay, goodbye. Hope you enjoy our discussion. Thank you for listening. Okay, goodbye.